for the whole latte love, and I have Danilo Lodi, uh, Dalla Corte brand ambassador. We have the XT here, and this is a really wonderful machine. We're going to get to learn all about it and why it's a great choice, whether you're running a low-volume cafe or a high-end, high-volume cafe. Um, tell us about now one really special thing about this machine, flow control. What's that all about? Well, the Delacour technology is really good because we always were able to control temperature by each group unity. Now, with the XT, we can also control the flow. When I talk about flow, it's about how many grams per second of water I can put inside the port filter. So I control the flow in grams per second with a very narrow precision of 0 0.1. Uh, so it doesn't matter which coffee I'm using, I can tune in the uh, coffee for the best extraction possible. So if a shop is running multiple coffees and you have a three group machine here, so you can have different flow rates, different temperatures exactly. in each group. Sometimes like I'm using like a different profile, like a different flow for the same coffee so mm -hmm. I can achieve different flavors. Or if I have three different coffees in a three group machine, I can have three different flows and adjust accordingly to the best shot for that coffee. Let's talk about the benefits of the XT to a, a shop owner and why they'd really want to take a hard look at this machine. Okay. First of all, like, let's say that I'm a specialty coffee uh, shop. Mm -hmm. So I have highly trained baristas, skilled baristas that want to use the machine. Mm -hmm. They will play with the flow to adjust the perfect extraction. They're also going to play with the temperature to achieve the best cup of coffee, mm -hmm. right? Let's say that I have a new coffee shop in town, not a lot of baristas available, mm -hmm. so I need to train people, operators. I have some functions in this machine that can help me with a not so experienced people. First is the grind control system where I can set up the uh, dose that I want in the time that I want and then if throughout the day the coffee chains and distraction chains the, ch the time will fluctuate. As soon as it chains 10% for more or less from the time that I program the volume and the time in the machine it will change the grind side and compensate the time of grinding so I can have always the same amount of coffee same amount of water in the same time. That's that automatic, helps. right? Exactly. And it's, it's just going to happen all by itself. Exactly. Doesn't so take every five extractions, if yeah. three are wrong, it will dial in again and close or open the burst so we can compensate it have the same result that I had when the first dial in. Also, we have the milk control system. Mm -hmm. The milk control system, it will automatically steam the milk to the desired temperature that you want and the right texture that you want. Again, to make it easier for someone that is still learning how to control a, a, a steam one to pre, uh, make the perfect milk for cappuccinos, lattes, and flat whites. So if you hire, maybe hire that barista that can do the art, yeah, they, they they're can really use... busy. I mean, there's a lot of advantages with the milk exactly. control system, right? I mean, because you can get it done automatically to... Uh... Meanwhile, I'm doing other distractions like right. that I need it. Uh, and sometimes I can, doing one automatic while the other end of the machine doing manually. Yeah. Like we like you have it set up here exactly. Now let's talk about the so each group is individual. It's totally individual. All our machines are individual. Uh, it's a multi boiler independent machine. So all brewing units are independent by the steam boiler, and the steam boiler doesn't have anything to do with the brewing units. So I can turn it off one by one or working with all of them at the same time. So you, you're really busy time of the day. You can have all the groups running. Exactly. You slow down. You can maybe shut one off or bring it back yeah. on. And how long does it take from you know turning? You know, if I had a group off, how long till I can have that back up and making coffee? Around five minutes. About like five minutes. Uh, That's when you fast. when you uh, get out in the morning, get, uh, open the shop, you turn it on the machine. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, like with the, mach the water cold machine cold, it would take around five minutes to heat it up the water that is inside each group head. Of course, the steam boiler is going to take a little while, but for the brewing units, in five minutes it's going to be ready. And let's talk about maintenance, right? Because there's uh -huh. some really cool features on the XT that's going to save a shop owner a lot of time, exactly. a lot of labor. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the, the maintenance on this. Well, there's a few things. First of all, it's very easy to access the menu and check if there was any alarm history so you know exactly if something happened, where it happened. Mm -hmm. So you can report or just fixing the machine. Second, one of the things that people don't realize that gives a lot of maintenance and shorten the shelf life of a machine is not cleaning well the machine. Mm -hmm. This machine, like all the other Della Corte machine, has a programming for cleaning the group, of, uh, the group head 
easily and it's super easy to follow. You just press a button, choose the group that you want to clean and it's going to start back flushing. And it's a programming that it would take you like two and a half minutes, mm -hmm. but you can keep working with the rest of the machine by cleaning just one group. And that saves a lot of time. Plus, it's, since everything is independent, mm -hmm. let's say that uh, something happened with my steaming boiler. Like I just need to open in the back. Mm -hmm. Why the technician is changing that, I keep working with the groups. Let's say that one of the groups had some problem. I can keep working with the steam boiler and the other two groups while the technician is just changing that group, which makes very easy and very fast to change everything in the machine. And, th and that's something maybe you're not going to find on some competing machines where, you know, if you lose... Yeah, normally you need to turn it, down. turn it off the machine, put it, uh, uh, take it to the workshop and work it on it, wait to cool it down. This one, since our, uh, everything is independent, you can just check what is the pro where is the problem and fix it that. I mean, we had a really neat thing earlier mm -hmm. uh -huh. where we, we had a technician installing the milk control system while you were brewing oh, on the machines. So. Exactly, which makes very easy. Like he was installing that, nothing to do with my, uh, uh, the, the group head that I was using. Mm -hmm. So he was there, I was here, the machine was working perfectly. Danilo, let's get deeper into the flow control. Now, some people might be familiar with, say, pressure profiling in mm -hmm. that. And what's the difference with flow? Well, uh, let's think about like, the regular espresso machines, they have, uh, normally we check the temperature and the pressure to see how the extraction is going and if it's consistent. But normally people don't pay attention in the flow. Flow, when we're talking about flow, is the grams per second that are coming out of the group head. Regular machine will have 10 to 12 grams per second in average, mm -hmm. right? With this machine, I can control that stage. What that stage is important? Why this stage is important? The beginning of the extraction, we're going to extract most of the flavors. So basically the pre-infusion. So I can control how fast or how slow I want this pre-infusion because the pressure is stable in nine bars like in a regular machine. Mm -hmm. The temperature is the temperature that I set up, but the flow, how fast or how slow I'm going to reach the full pressure, that's going to be important to extract more flavors or different flavors from the coffee. That's why adjusting the flow by grams per second, I can have like a more consistent extraction, a consistent repeatability, like I can do the same shot over and over again, but also extract different flavors depending on how fast or how slow I'm going to go with the flow. So you really got some tools here to exactly. really pull more out of a coffee than you would with some other machines. Yeah, like I, I even have like a, a few tricks for people, for example, let's say the coffee is too fresh, you change the coffee, like you uh, sold all your uh, weak old roasted coffee and now you need to put a, a, a fresh one in the grinder. Well, like with the lower flow, like a gentle flow, a flow of four grams per second, for example, mm -hmm. you will be able to extract those flavors without that carbonic gas, like that sparkling sensation of the fresh roasted coffee. Right. So it really helps you to tune in depending on the roast profile you have, if it's a light roast or a darker roast, if it's a fresh or a older, it will help you to tune in to have the same cup or the best cup that you can have. So we talked a little bit about the, you know, you're running, can you run separate temperature on yeah. each group, separate flow, um, but the time it takes to, I mean, it's amazing what you can do here. Tell me about that. Well, the thing is every brewing unit, it's like around four kilos, mm -hmm. almost 10 pounds, okay. if I do it correctly, of, of uh, yeah. brass, mm -hmm. uh, lead free. Yeah. So it heats up the water really fast. So okay. let's say that uh, I don't like this extraction right now. I'm in 92 Celsius and I want to go to 94. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just change, go to the menu, change the temperature, and then I give one flush just to get rid of, of the uh, layer that I have. And I already have already the 94. So it's like... Let's Super, it's automatically. Change time, sure, flush once, and boom, and Exactly, and it, let's say that I want to go down, like That's I was in 95. Unique, right? It is, it okay. is, because normally it takes a little while to uh, the other systems to heat it up mm -hmm. or to cool it down. Okay. Our system is really fast, like if I'm cooling down, yeah. the only difference from heating up is that I need to give two flushes, which is going to take around three seconds, one and a half second for each flush. It's pretty fast to going up or down. So the shop owner, they're probably going to want to know what kind of volumes can you do on this machine? And you've got some information on that, right? Well, uh, for example, in Florence, uh, we have a coffee shop that runs 
around a thousand shots a day okay. and the machine is always working. So it really, it doesn't matter if you're a low volume coffee shop or a really high volume busy coffee shop, this machine can handle like a lot. Doesn't matter if you need to steam a lot of milk, doesn't matter if you need to pull a lot of shots, doubles, lungos, doesn't matter. It will keep the consistent temperature, flow, and pressure stability. So tell me about the milk control system. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I really like it because it saves you time and also have, give you, another, again, consistency. Yeah. So I go to the programming. I program the temperature that I want the, the milk to be. This little thermometer over here will read the temperature. And as soon as I press the button, it will start steaming the milk. I just put the milk jug in the right position. It will sting the milk. The milk is going to be, uh, be frothing and it will stop automatically in the temperature that I set. So after that, I just clean and I use the milk. It's really easy, very intuitive to use. Uh, of course, we need to check what, what kind of coffee or what kind of drinks that we're gonna make. If it's gonna be like a large drink, or if it's gonna be a short drink, if I want more or less foam, then I'm just gonna adjust the amount of milk that I'm gonna put in the jug. Now the grinder control system, yes. tell me more about that, how that works, how it's going to benefit uh, well, the shop. First of all, it's easy to program, like I enter the menu, I go and I'm going to check it out how much coffee I want to and the grind size. So I first adjust the grind size, that is how long I want the extraction to run. I, ch I check the, the amount of coffee that I want and as soon as I program and send this information to the machine, that's where the magic happens because I program Again, in a limited amount of time, limited amount of volume. Mm -hmm. But throughout the day, the coffee starts changing. There, uh, there's degas happening, temperature change, humidity change, uh, and then the shots are start running faster or slower according to what I manage. What the machine does, it calculates every five extractions that you do. If three extractions are wrong, by 10% of the time that you program, it will automatically change the grind size. So it will close the burst or open the burst to achieve the time that you program. And uh, since it's a, the, the grinder is use a timer mm -hmm. to dose the amount of coffee that you're putting, as soon as it closes the burst, automatically does a calculation to change also the grinding time. So, so you're going to get up with the same dose. Exactly. You're going to get up with the same amount of coffee that you program the machine, even though the grind size is changing. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like maybe even having a really high-end barista who's adjusting your grind all day long. So exactly. you're staying consistent from open to close. Exactly. Throughout the whole day, you just can program that. You do the one once a day, like every barista needs to dial yeah. in the grinder. But with the grinder control system, you do once and then the machine will do the rest for you. Now, Danilo, there's something kind of cool about this machine. You know, I see a lot of baristas, they'll throw a scale under, mm -hmm. under the cup and they'll be weighing and doing brew ratios, but you've got a tool here that's going to make that a whole lot easier. Well, it is important to know how much coffee you're putting inside a portafilter and how much coffee you're getting out in your yeah. cup. And it's important to use a scale for that. But with the XT, the thing is, since we have a flow meter controlling the amount of water in grams per second, as soon as I start seeing the coffee coming out of my spouts, I just press the yellow button and it's a digital scale. So it will give you the same result as a scale that I'm gonna put underneath, but already built in inside the machine. Plus it's faster to use in a daily base. So you don't need to have like three scales if you have a three group machine. Every one of the groups will control differently. So, so we've talked about the maintenance, the mm -hmm. quality of the coffee, the you know, flow we're using here. Uh, let's talk about the ergonomics, you know, because somebody is going to be operating this machine all day, and Delacorte has really kind of thought about that, haven't Yeah, they? like uh, Paolo, when he created the machine, he always thought about, like, not only the size of the portafilter, but also the length of the handle. The weight is normally around 80 grams lighter than uh, other portafilters, but even like the steam one, the movement that you're going to do, you're really going to save you a little bit of time and also energy. So. If you work behind a bar, you know, like it's really consuming for your joints, like wrists, elbows, shoulders. So it will really help you in the daily routine not to carry so much weight around all the time, especially because of the repetibility of the movements.
Danilo, a lot of you really unique features on the XT here yes. that, you know, it's going to, let's just kind of recap, you know, the benefits. If I put an XT in my shop, what, what kind of benefits do I get? Consistency is the most uh, that you're going to get out of this machine. Same shot every time, controlling the flow, temperature, and always keep it stable. Second, easy to maintain. So it's easier to change any parts, fix any problems. But the main thing is you be able to pull great shots of espresso, even if you start in the job as a barista and even if you're a high level barista. So you can cover the whole range. Doesn't matter if it's just an operator or like a barista champion. I mean, the great espresso is going to be really apparent to customers, right? Yes. But behind the scenes, it's just going to be easier to operate. Easier maybe. to clean, yeah. uh, easier to operate, easier to get the best cup of the coffee that you're serving. All right, Danilo, thanks a lot. Thanks Thank for taking you. us through the XT. My pleasure. All right. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.